a little something different. Happy to do it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Anywhere you need to go, can I like drive you somewhere on like an errand <laughs> no, or something? No. You good? My car's here, so we're good. <laughs> Welcome to Dan O'Brien's Awesome Drive to the Match. I'm Jeff Lemieux, joined today by one member of the Revolution's Teenage Trio, Jack Penny of Two. Jack, thanks for being here, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. First of all, I want to make sure I'm pronouncing your name right. Penny O2? Yeah, Penny O2. Yeah, okay, because I've heard so many different ways this season. We get Penny U2, Penny Ya2, Penny Ye2. Like, it seems like it should be Penny O2. Yeah. What's the craziest pronunciation you've ever heard of your name? Oh God, um, there's been some bad ones, especially in like uh, like school like assembly stuff. Where they're calling names out, like people don't even don't even try my name sometimes. Um, but it's not that you know when you really sound it out, it's not that bad, and, and I don't really mind. It doesn't seem like it should be that hard. Yeah. But I mean, you are a soccer player. A lot of guys go with the the one name thing. Have you ever thought about just being Jack? <laughs> I have, but I don't know. It's a little short, and I don't know if it would look that great on the jersey. So. Maybe one too many jacks around for that to really work. Yeah, for sure. Well, you are a rookie with the Reds. You've got five league appearances under your belt, seven including Open Cup. So I'm wondering for you, you made your first team debut March 25th. In terms of nerves, confidence level, all that type of stuff, how big of a, a leap is there between you know appearance one and appearance seven with the first team? Um, no, there's definitely been an adjustment period for sure. Um, you know, getting used to playing in front of a bunch of people. Um, you know, getting used to playing with the guys. It's, it's a different level playing in an MLS game or an Open Cup game even than, than weekly practices. Um, but I think I've I've been adjusting and I kind of feel I've always had confidence in myself and. and I feel like I've worked hard to be here and, and that I sort of deserve to be here. So when I go on the field, that's, that's how I play. You did have a stepping stone as well with one season of college soccer. So you spent one semester at Georgetown and said, you know what, I think I can do the pro soccer thing. But if pro soccer hadn't been an option for you and you were studying in college, what do you think you would have studied and what do you think you'd be doing for a career? Okay, um, I was in the business school at Georgetown. Okay. Um, I didn't declare a major or anything like that. I want to say finance, but the reality is I was pretty focused on soccer and it was more, uh, I'm not sure exactly what I would have ended up with. Okay, well, good thing is you don't have to find out because now you're a professional soccer player. Exactly. <laughs> well, Jack, thanks so much for taking the time and hey, best of luck Saturday night against the fire. Appreciate it, thank you. This has been Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match, keeping it awesome.